Hey everyone, Jay here. As always, I'm here to offer some recommendations for ways in which we might adapt our CrossFit Linchpin workouts for kids. I'm going to take a closer look at Monday the 8th of August. We've got three rounds for time, 50 double unders, 10 power cleans, 50 double unders, 10 push press. Now I really like this workout for thinking about how I might adapt it for an advanced children or how I might adapt it for some less experienced children because we've got some great functional movements in here and a great foundational movement with the push press. So with our advanced kids, I'm gonna give them an AMRAP for quality, but if you remember from last week, I mentioned that sometimes it is appropriate to give them a round for time so they know how much work they need to do. I'm gonna give them 20 skips. That could be single unders or double unders, depending on where they're at. They're going to have a hang power clean, the five hang power cleans. Now, this could be with a, a light ball or a light med ball or a light uh, football, or it could be with some light dumbbells, depending on where your children are at and what equipment you have available to you. It would be a good idea to start with the ball and then one, just because it's one object to concentrate on, and then move on to the, the, the light dumbbells once they're more experienced with the, the sort of movement that you're required, so that dip, jump, catch. And then we've got push press. Now the likelihood is that these children are going to be using some light dumbbells, some light load. And the reason we're using dumbbells is, and not a bar is because we, we want to teach them the movement pattern. We want they've got to a stage where we can reward them with some load because their movement's good, but we still don't want to have to worry about the bar path just yet. So we're going to keep them dumbbells light so they're just going straight up into holding the sky. With our less experienced in their equipment children, we're also going to have a bit of an AMRAP for quality. We're going to have reduced the number of skips or jumping jacks, depending on where they're at. If they're not consistent with skips, absolutely appropriate to give them some jumping jacks. So we've got 10 skips or 10 jumping jacks. This here would stimulate that impact loading. And remember, impact loading is great for uh, improving children's bone density. We've got five push press. It's likely that these push press are going to be unloaded. You're going to see a video of me here teaching my daughter the push press. She's done it a few times, but still we need to come back to visiting how we do the push press. And then a 10 meter bear crawl. Now, because I've only got two movements in here, I wanted to add an extra movement in here. I thought, well, it'd be a great opportunity to stimulate the vestibular system. And also with our younger children, I find they don't like to be in one place too much for a workout. So that bear crawl gets them moving and then coming back. And it also allows you to set up your workout in a way that it will flow. The skip, the push press, into the bear crawl, and then coming back through if necessary. When th thinking about warming up your advanced kids, now as you can see here, we haven't got any vestibular system work here. So when you are doing your warm up, you want to get the children going upside down. So maybe with some handstands or some bear crawls or some rolls. This would be a great thing to think about when you're planning your session for your advanced kids as well. We've got some impact loading with the skips and the hang power clean. So that's great, but there's no reasons why we couldn't have some jumps in that warm up as well. Some jumps and lands, maybe off of a box would be a great opportunity to stimulate that impact loading. Have fun. Ava here is going to help take us through the push press. We're going to start off with how to get our feet in the right position. Then we're going to look at some of the cues we might use to get ourselves to the start position, where we go, and then how we finish. We're going to start off by getting our foot position right. Ava, can you jump up and down for me? Freeze! Good job. By jumping up and down and freezing, usually that'll get our position, feet in the right position for any of our pressing movements that stay underneath us. Now we're going to get ourselves into that front row position. So I'm going to ask you to put your thumbs up, out wide, put your thumbs on your shoulders, kiss your guns, <laughs> elbows in. Okay, can you point your elbows at my toes? Good job. Okay, so now you can see Ava's in the right position there to start one of our, our pressing movements. So now I'm going to teach her the dip. Ava, can you dip stand? Good job. Can you dip stand again? Good job. And now we're going to put that together with a hold up the sky, which is what we call a press. 
Hey, bro, can you hold up the sky? Good job. Can you come back down to here? Excellent. Now we're going to put it together. We're going to dip, stand, press. Okay? Good job. Okay? Ready now? We're going to put that together all in one. We're going to dip, stand, press, hold up the sky. Good job. Can you do that on your own when I say go? I'm putting the elbows at my toes. Good job. Go. Good job. And reset. And go. One more time. Go. Excellent job. So for our less experienced workout, we're going to start with 10 skips or jumping jacks, depending on where your children are at. Or how much equipment you have, maybe in a big class, you might not have enough skipping ropes for the children. Then we're going to move on to five push press. Now really, there are some faults occurring here, but I'm ignoring them because she's getting the idea of the movement and she's still quite young. And then we've got a bear crawl. Remember that a bear crawl stimulates that vestibular system. So once she gets back from the bear crawl, she's going to go back into her 10 skips. Following the 10 skips, she's going to go back into her five push press and then her 10 meter bear crawl again. Now we here, there's a, every, every so often you can see me have to adjust her elbows. I'm giving her the, I'm just giving her the cue, point your elbows at my toes. Sometimes she does it, sometimes she doesn't. I'm not so worried about it because she's showing really, a really great start for a push press here. Now you see here, she'll make a few trips on the skipping here. This isn't a fatigue thing. This is just a lack of concentration and getting herself in the right position. So I would be okay for her to keep going even after this round and on for a few more rounds because she wasn't showing too much fatigue or she also was able to concentrate, re-establish the movement and she was moving well on the push press and the bear crawls as well. And in fact, this is probably her best set of uh, push press throughout of the, the workout that you've seen.